Now, a resume, as someone who has probably gone through at least 500 plus applications in the last six years, as someone who's been hiring online, creating a resume is honestly kind of like your Facebook profile page or LinkedIn profile page for us hiring managers. Hey there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now my goal is that at the end of this video is to be able to walk you through the process of how to create your resume as a virtual assistant. Now this is going to be a step-by-step -step through Canva so make sure to watch until the end of this video for the whole tutorial. Now if this is your first time on my channel my name is Liang Lakaba. I have been working from home since I was 15 years old and now run my own outsourcing agency in the Philippines and I post videos every Sunday on on how to have an online career and every Thursday on how to have an online business so make sure to hit subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos now from my last video last Sunday I talked about how to create your portfolio from scratch and there I also used canva on how to create it and I got a lot of questions as well on how to create a resume on canva itself as well now I already did a video on how to create a resume that gets you hired but I've never actually done a tutorial type of video so that's what we're going to dive into today. Now a resume as someone who has probably gone through at least 500 plus applications in the last six years as someone who's been hiring online creating a resume is honestly kind of like your Facebook profile page or LinkedIn profile page for us hiring managers. It is the first way that we can know who you are what it is that you do other than your application letter. So it gives us a really good snapshot of who you are, why we should even consider hiring you in the first place. And I want to make this video specific to virtual assistants. And even if you have no experience at all in being a virtual assistant, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a resume that will still relate some of the old skills you might have had into putting it into a resume as a virtual assistant. Now let's switch into my computer so we can start focusing on creating your resume. Now here again, we are on Canva. It's just one of the easiest ways that you can create resumes or mostly any graphic that you need almost anything like you guys can see there's like presentation planner logo again almost anything I love using Canva if you guys haven't signed up yet you can use my link leonlaycom slash Canva and I get a little bit of percentage if you guys do sign up so that's another way that you guys can support this channel but when you're here you can go ahead and see what are different available things are for you so this social media video marketing office so here you can see like there's different types of graphics that you can do but if you just go here and search resume you'll be able to see there's so many templates that you can use so you just go here and just go usual resume and then on here you can start seeing all of the different templates that you can use the first step basically is just use a very simple template you don't have to go all out and have it be super amazing looking it can just be a very simple template as long as it relates to your personality and what it is that you bring to the table now for example i would want to use this template for myself just because it's a little bit creative it's a little bit okay you know this is who i am so here you'll be able to see all the different things that you can start filling out so let me zoom in a little bit so you guys will be able to see this clearly so right here you know we have the photo we have the name we have the title so this is where you want to start editing find a photo of mine that's pretty recent it's actually from a video that I did um, recently and then I'm going to take out the filter just because it doesn't apply to me because I'm a little bit more colorful than that um, and I'm just gonna adjust it just a little bit so you want to use a photo and this is probably not the best example you want to use a photo that's at least um, your waist up or at least your chest up you don't want to use a photo that's a selfie try to get someone else to take a photo of you or just simply set a timer on your phone I don't recommend doing the poses actually let me change this photo okay so this is a way better photo of me um, that's relevant to a resume and this is actually the uh, last video that I just did so you're able to see okay you know this is my face this is like I'm holding up my iPad so it makes me look a little bit like hey I'm ready to start working so that's kind of why I chose this and of course you want to go ahead and change the name on here and then here which is very important is you put in the title that you want to be hired for so you want to put in virtual assistant now even if you have no experience at all you want to put it here because this is the title that you want to work with and of course if you're not applying as a virtual assistant you can change this out one thing that I do recommend you want to customize this to whatever that they're using on the job ad so let's say you're applying for a job and they say I need 
need a real estate virtual assistant. Put in real estate virtual assistant here. This will make you look like the person that they want to hire because you are using the exact words that they are using to look for their person. So again, if you can customize this as much as possible, that's why you're using Canva as a template because you guys can customize and download this as many times as you want based on who you're applying to. So now if you scroll down, there is an about me section. Now on the about me section, you want to highlight three things. You want to highlight what is your goal as a virtual assistant, what is their goal maybe, if you know what the goal of the company is, and how you're going to help them get there. And actually a bonus fourth is what is a problem that you are trying or willing to solve with them. What that would look like is, for example, let's say I'm applying for my company, 2XU. Uh, right now we actually have an opening for a sales executive assistant, although we can only hire here locally, so I won't be able to open this position up to you guys. But let's say I was applying for that job. So first thing that I would do is I will actually change this to sales executive assistant since that is the title that we went for in the job ad and here i will put in here as a sales executive assistant i will help so what is the problem that you're trying to solve so kind of just reading through a job ad you can kind of feel sometimes what it is that they're trying to solve with this position remember you have to keep in mind that if they are hiring for someone they're trying to solve a problem they've opened up this position because they're trying to solve a particular problem so with this as a sales executive assistant I will help so again going over like the job ad that I created you know they're looking to grow their company I will help to excuse clients since we do say that it's for a client I will help to excuse client to be able to grow their business with my skills in sales admin and whatever other skills that I might have so or you know graphics if I did mention also that some graphic skills is also preferred for this position and then you want to add in more details of how it is that you're able to help so I am data driven for example because we also say it in the job ad that we need a lot of report generation I am data driven detail oriented and a good communicator so what I'm doing here is again I could be grabbing things from the job ad but I also want to talk about like okay i actually know what i'm doing i'm coming in as the sales executive assistant because i've had either experience on this directly or i am familiar with the type of problems that you're trying to solve so obviously a sales executive assistant they need someone picking up calls they need someone to create reports of where like different prospects are at so you're giving them that update of like hey this person signed this person didn't want to move forward so i'm just getting that of like okay what would be the skills for me to be able to give those results those are the three main ones that I put on here. So again, you wanna highlight how it is that hiring you will help their company. Next is you'll see education here. So I'll go ahead and just edit this. Okay, so I just put in there. And then here, you again, you have some different things that you can start filling out. So one of them here is skills. You can go ahead and edit that based on what are the relevant skills that you have. Again, it has to relate to the job position that you're applying for, that's super important. And here you will see that there's like different gauges that you can put in. So you can show them what your expertise level is basically on these different skills. For example, I'll put in writing. I uh, will put in organization. I will put in email management. Again, this is all relating to the job that I'm trying to apply for. So I have to keep that in mind. What are the skills that I have that will relate to this job? So email management, I'll put in appointment setting, I'm trying to think of other ones. So writing, organization, appointment setting, graphics, and marketing. So let's say that all those are very relevant to the job. So what I would do is I would again rank myself on these different ones. What you can do with Canva is you can click specifically on the one that you want. You can even change this, uh, the colors that they're using, but then that's just the easy way that you can highlight what are your top skills. You might also want to rank them based on your expertise itself also if you don't want to do this. Uh, that way they know what are the things that they can expect from you that you already know even before you start working with them. Next is you want to, of course, make sure that you fill in your contact details. Make it as easy as possible for your possible employer to email and reach out to you. Don't make it a hide and seek thing. Make it super easy for them to be able to know how they can reach you or how else they can find you on social media as well. Just imagine that your resume is going to be passed around through different departments. So having a clear way of how they can contact you on your resume itself, they don't have to check anywhere else. It's just helping them make their job easier. Next now is actually going through the experience 
experience side of it. So here, if you have no experience at all, let's say you are a new graduate or you're someone who's just joining, you know, having a career, you're just getting started, here you can put in any relevant experience that you had in school. So if you were someone who led a group, for example, or you were an officer for a club, you can put it in here as part of your experience. Now, it doesn't have to be as long as this one. It can be short. It can just be the one experience that you have. As long as you have put in the research for this job and you show that in your resume and application letter, a lot of jobs actually don't mind you not having too much experience on the thing that they're hiring you for. And the biggest reason for that is if you're just willing to show them that you're willing to put in the work and learn, they are of course going to consider you as an applicant. Now, one of the top tips that I have when it comes to putting in your experience, if you do have some experience in other jobs, maybe not as a VA, is make sure that you make it clear what company you used to work for and also make it clear what was your position in that company. That way it's clear for the hiring manager, for example, to see how relevant your past experiences were, if there were any, to the position that you're trying to get hired for. Now, one of the ways is either doing it like this where it's bold or maybe make this font a little bit smaller. Again, making it super obvious for them to breeze through your resume and find the relevant details that they need. Also, the other very essential one is putting in the dates. I personally prefer having the latest experience that you have on top, but some people do do it this way where it's at the bottom, which is also okay. Now, another tip for you guys is just why I love this template is use bullet points. Don't use essays when you're showing off what you're experienced at. Now, the other side of this is when you're using these bullet points is you want to highlight what achievements that you've done that again relates to this job position immediately. So for example, let's say I've had a job before as a book agent, which I do have, then those are the things that I will highlight. I will highlight that I was able to close the you know, these many authors, I would highlight that I was able to help launch their books. So again, based on the position that you're trying to hire for, you want to be specific with the job experiences that you're mapping out for them to show why it is that you're the right candidate for this position. Now, the last two things that you want to do before you send this resume out is first, check your grammar. So if you guys caught earlier, I actually had a couple of highlights from a tool that I use called Grammarly. You guys can see it right there where it will check the grammar and spelling that I have throughout my resume. So you want to use that to be able to make sure that your resume is at least very clean on the grammar side. On the other one, the last thing you have to keep in mind before you send out your resume is to make sure that you edit the name here to be the company's name. So put it be, you know, for me, it'll be last name and then 2XU. The reason why you want to do this is you want to show that you custom created this resume for them. And another step is you'll be 2XU sales EA. That way you're putting in the job that you also want to be applying for. Because again, just imagine that your resume is being passed to one person to the other. Sometimes it might lose context. So you want to put the context front and ready so that it's easier for people to know like, oh, this is the file for this person. Another thing is you want to download this as a PDF print off of Canva so it's the best quality. And another one, which I just kind of thought of, is make sure that you put in also your first name because you never know that you might have someone who has the same last name as you. So you just put in your whole name and then the company's name and then the job position you want to apply for. Now I'm going to show you guys what my current resume actually looks like. It's a little bit more creative than this, this one, not really as formal, uh, but that's because again, that's my style. But here is what my current resume looks like. So for me, imagining, you know, I was also applying as a virtual assistant, you know, I aim to run operations into XU as a virtual assistant with my admin, organizational and technical skills to scale the business. So you'll notice I put in what are the relevant skills that I have and and also what is the goal, eventual goal for the company and how I'll help them get there. I also put in like, again, make it super easy for them to find my contact details. I put in my education. I put in the achievements that I've had. So different resume templates will ask you to put in different things. I've added my skills and then I put in the relevant companies that I've had. I make it sure that the job title and the company that I worked at had different looks. So an HR manager can look through this really quickly. I put in the dates and I also put in my social media links and link to my website. That way it's going to be easy for them again to look me up. 
with. I'm making it as easy as possible for them to be able to contact me if ever they want me to move forward within the application process. So that is basically it. That's how you create a resume from scratch step by step using Canva. You guys can use a lot of different templates that you can find on there. One major tip that I do want to mention here is yes, you can use all of the creative templates on Canva, but I recommend that you only do this if you're sending your resume directly to the hiring manager. That means you're applying right on their website or not a career website. If you are applying and sending this through a hiring system that they might have a hiring software, I would recommend going as basic as possible and just using a black and white text. So here actually on Canva, they actually have a template for that. So if you guys go back to, I want to show you guys that really quick before I actually wrap up this video is if your resume, there's going to be a ton of different samples where it's just the black and white text, like these ones, this ones, and these ones. The reason why you want to do that when you're applying with a hiring software is that they will usually auto reject resumes that have too many like shapes or colors. They want just a straightforward CV. And the last tip that I have for you guys is as much as possible, make your resume just one page. Just make it super easy, super simple. Try to dial in all of the different experiences that you have, your skills into one page. Again, that way it's easy for hiring manager to be able to pass on your resume to other people as well without it being a too heavy of a file. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button right there and comment below what other resume related questions you might have or what other videos you guys want to see here on my YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday on how to have an online career and every Thursday on how to have an online business. And of course, you guys can check out the newest video right here. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!